morning, class. Uh, so today we're going to be working on uh, taillights. So we're going to go out and we're going to move the taillight off of the minivan. We're going to talk about tools, things to use, how to work it. Uh, your assignment for this class is to find the taillight bulb that is required for your vehicle at home and uh, screenshot it from an AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Napa, whichever, uh, Rock Auto and then send me the screenshot of the part number for a tail light. Now I'm not talking about the middle light, I'm talking about one of the sides. Okay, so let's go ahead and head on out to the car and let's get started. Okay, so what we have here is the tail light on my minivan, okay, and we have just a couple basic tools today. We have a, this is a Torx bit, kind of like a screwdriver, but it has a star on the end of it, so it's known as a Torx bit. We learned this in the very beginning of the class. Standard screwdriver, this is my busted one. You can see the head's all busted up. This is a trim panel remover, okay? Uh, this is to help pull off little trim panel pieces and stuff like that that you have to use, okay? So, uh, remember, if you need to get a hold of me, use uh, Google Hangouts. All right, so what we got here is we have two Torx bits, run right here and one down here. So we're going to go ahead and remove those. Okay. Right, hold on a so I'm going to go right here. Just unscrew it. Okay, now I've gotten both of them off. Now here's the trickier part. Now, obviously, it's not coming out. Because on this vehicle, there's little clips back here that are holding it in, okay? And this is where we needed our trim panel remover. And very carefully, so I don't ruin the paint, this has a rubberized coating on it, so it helps. I'm gonna just slide that in there. Pull that apart. I'm holding it so it stays away. There we go. And now I'll go ahead and pull this away. And here we go. So now I have all three bulbs and the connector. Another connector, what we have right here in the middle is a trailer splice. It just plugs in play. Okay. Now I want to show this little clip right here. Let me see if I can get it off. There we go. Alright, so what I wanted to show you was this clip here. This red part right here. So that is a safety. Okay. So there, uh, locked, locked. So that prevents you from it rattling loose. So you push that in, you would do that, and then you would wiggle this back and forth. Okay. So there we go. Now I have the taillight lens. Okay, 
So I have my lens. I have my three bulbs here. I just twist off, and I even have a little symbol here. This is way locked, so this will be unlocked. And then I can pull it out. And then I can see the bulb. This one is a dual filament, meaning it has two. Okay, so this is my brake light and running light. Okay, this one's my turning indicator. Right here. And then this is just a running light way up here. We're just going to leave that one alone. It's not one. Oh, there it goes. And this connects. You can see there's no bulb here. This connects to an LED strip that runs right along here. Okay? So if that goes bad, you have to replace the whole lens. But this way you can take off the wiring if need be. Okay. That's it there. Get it back into place. <laughs> little wires in the way. Come on, little wire. Okay, so they're all back attached. All locked in. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and change the bulb, right? Theoretically. Go ahead and reattach the wire and make sure you do that prior to putting it all back in. And what's nice is these things generally have a directional to it. So this one has two slots here and one slot there. This one has two uh, lines here and one there. So it tells me it goes in that direction. Push it until you hear that click lock it in place these are those little pins i was talking about right there and there they go into these little plastic holders there so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure this all goes in make sure my wires are out of the way too okay line up those two plastic clips that i can see on the side a little smack in there okay and now the two screws Okay, so now it's all secured. And ready to go. All right, so this is what we got. We just did the tail light. So your assignment's pretty simple on this one. So after today, we just have three more assignments to complete. So make sure you keep up um, and don't fall behind on those. Remember, May 8th, I have to have everything by then, okay? After that point, I cannot update the grades because that point is everything is done. I have then posted the grades so that way you can determine if you want pass-fail. Um, or a letter grade and also with those that are doing concurrent enrollment must have also made that decision all right i will see you guys next time on wednesday for our next lesson on fuses i'll see you then